It's a common theme, Molly, of course, with hurricanes as well as tropical storms, tornadoes being spawned. The rotation we see in the hurricane, well, it does lead to frequent occurrences of these. So let's talk about a hurricane hypothetically over the Gulf of Mexico. Intense thunderstorm activity you see with this storm, very little frictional force. The surface of the water, yeah, it really doesn't vary like it does on land. Limited vertical wind shear, but that does change as we see, of course, these hurricanes, these tropical storms uh, approach land and eventually go over land. What we see is an increase in friction and what that does is some interesting things here uh, to the ground itself. Friction amplifies that vertical wind shear. That's the change in wind speed and direction with height. Rotation is created in the atmosphere as a result of that and the updrafts. They aid in rotating that column of air so it becomes vertical and eventually we get that tornado formation. So this is what wind shear essentially is. As you can see, faster winds higher up in the atmosphere, weaker winds further on down to the ground level. But as we encounter more friction, that becomes more chaotic and as that system creates more rotation. We eventually see that rise up into the atmosphere. Eventually we see more of a wall cloud develop and eventually that does end up dropping tornadoes. And you can see these from the center of the storm just outside the eye in the eye wall all the way to the outer bands. And this is a repeated process we do see with tropical cyclones.